It's Delia. That's me. Hey, Daily Voppers. Welcome to The Sims 2, where I'm going to be making... I've skipped through all the, the intro video and, and loading screens because those take forever. You're welcome. I'm going to be making Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise. Because I feel like I feel like making um, just TV and movie characters in The Sims. So I guess it's going to be the Picard family. I wonder if I should make... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make more than just him as like TNG characters, but I'm going to start with him. First name? Okay. Jean... Luc. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's how we spell that. And... I don't think I'm gonna make- I don't think he counts as an elder. I'm gonna make him just an adult. I like The Sims 3 better than The Sims 2. I'm spoiled on The Sims 3. But this is what I have to work with right now. So you're welcome. We're going to make Jean-Luc Picard a girl. I'm kidding. Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> Cade. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce that. <laughs> oh gosh. This is very general. I'm, I'm so used to having more options than this. Can I get more in-depth than this? You can. Okay, thank these you, are, Mel. I think these are just, like, baselines. I'm, I'm very happy to know that. Uh, are these... Oh my gosh, are these the, the ones that I... have? Oh my gosh. I feel like he almost... <laughs> Looked more like him a second ago. I don't think any of these. No, none of these will do. You can always undo it. Do what? You can always undo it. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna. Here we go. This is where I'm finding the things that to that, that can be adjusted to to make it the way it should be. Okay. I feel like I feel like he has his thick brows. But they're kind of like, they don't, they don't, um, they're not very, like, long, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. Okay, choose hair color and style. Well, first of all, your hair is gonna have to be... Gray. Oh no, I keep clicking custom color, it's not doing anything. That's annoying. All I have is blonde. This can't be right. If I have to make a blonde <laughs> Captain Jean-Luc of the USS Enter Captain excuse me, Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise, I may have a slight fit. Sims. What are you? What? Uh, I don't need different hair for different outfits. Give him Fabio hair. This is not appropriate at all. <sighs> Am I missing something? Do you have to make someone elder for them to get gray hair in The Sims so. 2? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, look, you have to be an elder to have gray hair How in The Sims 2. You only have gray hair if you're an elder. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay, ah, uh, he's got like comb over hair. I don't want comb over hair. I just want him to be balding. Or, I guess, bald. Would, would be the technical term. There's lots of different hats and stuff. Okay. No comb over. I'm much happier now. <laughs> Captain Jean-Luc Picard is too classy for a, for a comb over. What if I next for 
audition. He first auditioned as a wig. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. There's pictures of that somewhere. I had no idea that he auditioned with a wig. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about this brow though, it's just a little bit too- Well, that's- no, that doesn't do at all. <laughs> I don't feel like there's a very satisfactory shape here. This is why I like The Sims 3 better. Maybe it's a different, like, slider? I... I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, you can't give him a different color eyebrows than hair either, can you? That sucks, because he's got those, like, contrastingly dark eyebrows. Oh my. He looks very sad. <laughs> he looks evil. <laughs> okay. Just the archiness of them. I think just the, the corners of his arches are very prominent. Oh dear. <laughs> he looks very posh and unimpressed. Okay, whoa! He has like... He has a, a case of like... Klingon eyebrows going on now. It's not okay. I feel like something really must be done about his cheeks, but I don't see anything to adjust. Maybe it's here. I can adjust his chin. I don't see... I don't see a part on here to give him a cleft chin. I have to look at a picture of him in profile. His nose is is so wrong right now. I feel like his eyes need to be way narrower, but it may just be a Sims thing. Where is that? Is it uh, that's just eye size. Oh my god. That's not okay. He became like... He became Weeaboo Picard for a second. Uh, I just... I just need your eyes to be narrower. This music is just so intense. Oh my gosh, Patrick Stewart in a wig is weird. That is so weird looking. He lost his hair at 19. Yeah, I've 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 heard about about that that he lost his his hair at 19 and thought that no woman would ever want to date him with no hair. And, like, his wife is, is a very attractive woman, I must say. Isn't there something on here to make them not like this kind of narrower or... Well... I guess maybe if you, if you make them like that, but then you shrink them... Figure out how to. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, you super far apart. I swear, like so many of the settings on this, you can end up just making your sim look completely like an alien. <laughs> I'm gonna try this preset. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> has a very long nose. The 
it's, his, his nose is not that long. And it doesn't bend down that much at the bottom. Oh gosh. That's, that's, a, that's just a little bit better. Maybe I should choose a different preset. I, I like this preset. I think everything is in the settings somewhere anyway. There's just a lot of settings for noses. I definitely probably will have to do something about his mouth. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> that was not okay. What, what just happened was not okay. Okay, come on, there's gotta be something I can do about the bridge there. His nose <laughs> looks so ridiculously sized compared to the rest of his face. Okay. Uh. Cause, I mean, his nose does sort of have that bridge thing, but it's not that bad. I guess you're right, I may have to start with a- whoa. It's like, hey, hang, hang on, let me try this one. Cause like, whatever you click on, the sliders are still in the middle. So I think it's it it goes by the preset, the preset and then uh that's that's horrid. Why why do you why do you do this to me, The Sims? Oh dear. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like it was closer before I started messing with it on this particular setting, but it's, it's just really Mess up in Sims 2. It's just still not. Sure. Just... If you alter it too much, it becomes unrecognizable. Yeah, I'm I'm beginning to pick up on that. <laughs> There's like a big old dent in his, <laughs> his forehead. Yeah, I noticed that. But I mean, well, he does kind of have a big old dent in his in his. Like where his brows intersect with the bridge of his nose in the middle of his face. Yeah. I feel like his nose is so... It's not that downturned. Yeah. Try to like something like that. See, I just want to adjust the slider. I don't want to have to pick a whole new nose. It's so difficult to tell what these noses are going to look like in the, in the preview, though. <laughs> oh my. Your cheeks, I'm sorry, are just so... I guess there's no settings in there for that change mouth. No. Change it anyway. <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> looks so snarky. His nose is too long. I can't. I can't deal with this. I really hope that there is a way to adjust the, uh, the like, overbite and underbite. Doesn't necessarily look like it.
your your lips are are thinner than this. <laughs> there needs to be a way to adjust them independently of each other. I am really much, much happier with the character creation in The Sims 2 than I am with the character creation. I mean, that's backwards. I'm happier with the character creation in The Sims 3 than I am with the character creation in The Sims 2. But I guess things are supposed to get better with time. It's just, I feel like I'm taking a step backwards from the character creation I'm used to in The Sims 3, but it's, I guess it's a little bit more of a challenge that way. Okay, what is this doing? Oh, I have to look at him from the side. what this is doing exactly. Oh my. <laughs> oh, okay, here's like the underbite and overbite and stuff. I guess this, oh, you make his chin higher or lower. I guess you can't adjust their ears. Oh, here we go, full face. <gasps> Yay! You can do cheeks and stuff in here. Oh my. <laughs> he's gotten very gaunt. <laughs> he's, he's gotten quite portly. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> His cheeks are very full of nuts for the winter. <laughs> oh gosh, you can make his ears very large. Oh. Like something about his jaw needs to be adjusted to compensate. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make his face wider. <laughs> or do you do that? Cheek size, face gaunt plump, lower face width. Oh my. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Face height. He has so much forehead now. Oh my. Actually, that, that's, that's a bit better. There we go. His nose. Just, I don't know. From some angles, it seems perfect, and at others, it seems very large. So you can adjust the ear size, but not the angle. not looking too bad now. Stew. Oh my. Oh my. 
Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> He's like an old Afrin commercial now. He, he is nothing but a nose. Oh, dear. <laughs> Go. I just, I wish there were a way to move his cheeks forward a little bit. And, and his, his mouth forward a little bit. Oh, you can adjust the pointiness versus non-pointiness of the chin. I really want to be able to give him a cleft chin, but there's just, there's, there's no option for that. I don't know, what did I just do? I just opened a website about pictures of Captain Jean-Luc Picard. It's just a whole website of it. I, I just had the Google previews pulled up, but now it's an entire freaking website. I didn't need all that. Let's see if I can lift his nose up just a little bit. I'll lower his. Well, <laughs> that is not lowering. That's too low. I just want to lower them a bit. <laughs> he looked very sad for a second. That's just nice size. Oh my. This is the lure. His jaw is very poking out at the side. I think he's he's looking up a lot more himself now. Actually fairly happy with that. Okay. Makeup! <laughs> Makeup! Glasses! Eyebrows! Change eyebrow style? What? What is eyebrow style? Oh dear. Oh my. I think I think these are the best ones. Choose everyday outfit. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. What is going to be like the closest <laughs> thing I can find? <laughs> That's short sleeve. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Check the full outfits. Oh gosh. It does have full outfits, okay. Uh let's see here. That's very that's very like t 
today's looks. Uh, I might be able to sort of make do with that. Oh good, there's like a ton more of them. Um, I don't know, that one... Uh, that one looks like it also might not be horrible to try to work from. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? <laughs> you can put him in a gorilla suit. That's... this is the wrong kind of... I don't even think that's a space suit, I think that's an underwater breathing apparatus. But if it was a space suit, it would be the wrong kind of... of space suit. <laughs> You can put Picard in a zoot suit. <laughs> Her track suit. I, I mean, the, the the outfits in the next generation do look a bit like glorified track suits. Oh, what's this? Oh no! Oh my! No! 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 No, 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 no. That will not do it all. Looks like his fencing uniform. Yeah, it does a little bit. Maybe, maybe that'll have to be his uh, sporty outfit. If if there's a sporty outfit, Let me try. Can you adjust the color? Nope. What? At least in The Sims Three, you can adjust the colors of the outfits. <sighs> This is this is just so disappointing. I would be so much happier trying to do this in The Sims 3, I feel, but oh well. I don't think there's gonna be anything even roughly approximating his Oh! Wait, we can make him look like um make him look like when he goes on the holodeck to to play around as um is uh, Dixon Hill. Or I could put him in a pink tux. <laughs> he just looks smashing in a pink tux. Oh, I think I've seen him in a white tux in, in some episode or, or maybe one of the movies or something. Yeah, sure, that works. Okay. Underwear. Oh god. I don't have anything even roughly approximating the uh, the underwear of the future. <laughs> is this really the best? Is is this the best everyday outfit that I can find? I'm seriously beginning to think it is. <laughs> At least he's not in a freaking gorilla suit. This is when you start learning how to mod The Sims 2. <laughs> when you want to make Captain Jean-Luc Picard. And you can't find anything that you can change to look like the, the right outfit because you can't change any of it. At least, I guess, you don't get as caught up in character creation in The Sims 2 as you do in The Sims 3. It's just such limited choices for Simware. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, athletic outfit. We'll give him the one that looks like the... Uh, are you kidding me? Fuck! You can't, you can't choose the one that looks like the fencing outfit? Well, fine. You can have that one. Vaguely reminds me of, of the cool jacket he gets in the later seasons. <laughs> and he has to have uh, something for when it's very cold outside. Um... That's classy. Yeah, sure. Don't have anything in command rad for this occasion. Oh, Jesus. I have to actually look up when Captain Picard was born, though. No. Captain Picard Zodiac <laughs> sign. Because you know someone must already have this figured out. 
Jean-Luc Picard. Oh gosh, maybe this might not be on Wikipedia. It just said might... October 10th, I think. Did it? October yeah. 10th? Okay, let me see if I can find that. October, October. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Never mind. That's not his date of birth. I'm going to have to look this up on Memory Alpha. The, if anyone has it, they will. Okay. Uh, memory Alpha. I look away. Hey, you better be spoilers. I'm just figuring that there will be just like a profile on here with a date of birth listed among other things. July 13th. That makes Captain Picard a cancer. Them. Okay, so I guess. Oh, okay, you can pick one of several. He's a nerd. Yeah, you should be a knowledge aspiration. Oh gosh, what are these things down here? Those are ones. You just like those. Those are just examples of what kind of ones we get later. So I guess these are goals that he can aim towards. Turn ons and turn offs. His turn ons. Oh gosh. What? I guess are these are these literal <laughs> romantic turn ons? Yep. Redheads would definitely be appropriate. Uh. There's an option, I think. Facial hair. He can have a crush on Riker if I decide to make Riker. But red hair, that's an option. Oh my gosh. And what what else is there? Charismatic, logical, hard worker, unemployed. I feel like hard worker might might be a good one. Is there one that, that <laughs> for robots? Is there one for for archaeologists? No. Nope. There's supernatural options. There should be one for being a doctor. Should be an available option for a turn on. Uh, I'm not sure with any of these options. I guess I'll put hard worker because that makes him very happy. And his turn off is. Um, he's turned off by vampires. Oh no, wait, I should make one of his turn ons logic. He is not attracted to underwear. <laughs> he finds <laughs> he finds underwear be to be very unattractive. That's <laughs> I don't know, these are all sort of ridiculous. Formal wear? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure formal wear really should be actually maybe one of his turn ons. I don't know. Should I replace logic with formal wear? He's turned off by zombies. <laughs> there we go. Turned off by zombies. Is this really all the options that you get for character creation in The Sims 2? Yep. This... Oh gosh, and these are just set by the... Uh, Zodiac. Yeah, okay. Gosh, I don't even get to, get to give him a custom voice. Well, there's Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise. And I guess next time I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll make Riker, or, or maybe I'll make Crusher. Maybe I'll make both of them, but I don't know who, who I'm going to make next. Uh, anyway, he's, he's done now. Can I save this? You have to... You have to... Fix, you, have, you can't... Whoa, go back. You can't save while you're in Create a Sim. So, okay. I hit- oh, I accept family and I created a whole family of just Captain Picard. I think with the expansion packs we have now, you can move in multiple families into 
same house, so. Or like, can I can I edit the family? No, but you can like add to. Do you not tend to a house and then add others to the household? How do you make them agree to some? I see. Okay. Wait, do I have to hit create family to create a new sim? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, you mean you have to do it all at once? You could have made um, a family instead of making the card solitary. So you could have made both the sims and one family. Well, yeah, that's what I wanted to do was like save it and come back and make... Ah, uh, you can do that in The Sims 3. Can yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so ridiculous. The bin, yeah. Um, oh well. I'll have to create a separate family to create the rest of the crew of the Enterprise. Um, until next time, be your most beautiful you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you next time. And a super special awesome thank you for my Patreon patrons. Michael Butler and Sizik, you'll make my videos possible. Thank you.